In this lesson, you will learn the layout and basic features of ACC software. Familiarity with the layout and basic features will allow you to navigate the software easily and efficiently. After completing this lesson, you will be familiar with the program's layout and will be able to perform basic functions within it. These features are available in these editions of ACC software. To open the ACC software, double-click the desktop icon or select the program from your Windows Start menu. After the application is loaded, the Site Login tab automatically appears. Select one or more sites that you want to log into. To select multiple sites, hold the Control key on your keyboard and then select the desired sites. Sites that are connected to the same network as the client are automatically discovered and added to this list. If the site you want is not listed, the site may be on a different subnet. You can find a site by clicking the highlighted button. In the dialog box that appears, you can enter the IP address or host name of the site. If the port has been changed from the default, enter the base port as well, and then click here. The new site is automatically added to the site list. In this demonstration, we will select this site to log into. Notice that once a site is selected, the interface on the right changes. To log in, enter the username and password assigned to you by your system administrator, or Select this checkbox to automatically use the same username and password as your computer, if instructed to do so by your system administrator. In this demonstration, we will use this username and password. Click here to log in. Additionally, if you want to be notified when new or disconnected sites come online, select the highlighted checkbox. And if you want to see the login page each time you launch the software, select this checkbox. After you log in, the application loads the View tab by default. At the top of the application window is the toolbar with the most common tool buttons. Also at the top of the application is the Add Task button, System Messages, and the Application drop-down list. On the right are a set of image panels for viewing video, maps, or web pages. And on the left is the System Explorer. The System Explorer displays all the elements in your surveillance system. Which elements you see in the surveillance system depend on the tab you open. All open tabs are listed at the top of the window. Clicking on a tab will take you to that task or view. To add a new task, click here. This menu appears. Note that the options you see on the menu depends on your level of access and the software edition you are using. Anytime a camera event or a system error occurs, an event is logged and an on-screen message can be displayed to tell you what has happened. The highlighted number shows the number of messages, while the highlight color shows the severity of the most recent message. Red indicates an error, yellow indicates a warning, and green indicates a message for your information. Next to the System Messages icon is the Application drop-down list, which gives you access to settings and technical help. From the Application drop-down list, you can also check to see what license edition the software is using by clicking here. The License Edition is displayed under the Software Version Number. If you want to log into additional sites, select this option in the Application drop-down list. When you are done monitoring your sites, select this option. Alternatively, right-click the site in the System Explorer and click here. If you want to close the application, select this option from the Application drop-down list. To sum up, in this lesson, you learned about the layout and basic features of ACC software. Once the application is loaded, the Site Login tab automatically appears. Select one or more sites that you want to log into. After logging in, the top of the application window displays a toolbar with the most common tool buttons, including the Add Task button, System Messages, and the Application drop-down list. Use this drop-down list to log in and out of the software. Check the edition or get help on using the software.